This is the second section on the volumes of revolution chapter. And here we're going to be looking at volumes of revolution around the y-axis. So very similar to the volumes of revolution around the x-axis. This time we take a strip and we rotate it 360 degrees around or 2 pi around the y-axis and we create a volume. So if I shade that in there, yeah, it almost looks like a hat or something. So you might want to work out the volume of a hat if you wanted to, like this. Yeah, or a cooling tower or a thimble or something of, of that shape. Yeah, and um, very, very similar to the last bit that we did. Last time it was pi times the... Uh, y squared this time it's pi times x squared so volume equals pi then we need to work out limits just like before a and b but these times these limits are y values yeah we've been very used to working out x values for limits these are just y values for limits which means that our expression is going to be um, given in terms of x, which we square. But notice that we uh, integrate with respect to y. So this is going to be an expression in terms of y. So it's the opposite of what we were doing before. The x and y's all get swapped around. Right, so here we've got a curve with that equation, and we're given the y limits, which is nice, and we want to work out the volume. So the first thing is, we need um, an expression which is x equals rather than y equals. So we've got y equals square root of x minus 1. So if we square both sides, we get y squared equals x minus 1. So we're making x the subject. x equals uh, y squared plus 1. So when we integrate pi here and our limits are 1 and 3, we need to square y squared plus 1 dy. So this is, you need to think completely different to how you've been thinking before about integration everything is in terms of y now not in terms of x so we need to um, expand those brackets mustn't forget the pi like i did last time so if i expand the brackets i will get y to the power of four and then i'll get y squared plus y squared again plus two y squared plus one dy so from there i'm now going to integrate i'll put the pi there and remember to do that my limits are one and three so y to the power four is going to become one fifth y to the five two y squared is going to become 2 over 3, because you add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, 2 thirds y cubed, and 1 will become y, like this. Now we just substitute the numbers, not forgetting to put the pi in front. Everything needs to get multiplied by pi. So put the 3 in, 1 fifth times 3 to the 5, plus 2 thirds times 3 to the cubed to the cubed, 3 cubed, plus 3, minus 1 fifth times by 1 to the power 5, plus 2 thirds times 1 cubed, plus 1. Let's see what this gives us. Right, time to grab the calculator. 1 fifth times 3 to the power of 5 
plus two thirds times three cubed plus three. So the first bracket I get actually three, four, eight over five. So I'll just do that here. So I've got pi. So three, four, eight over five. Uh, minus now the second bracket, I'll get basically one fifth uh, plus two thirds plus one. So I get twenty eight over fifteen. Right, what does that give us? It's going to give us something pi. So uh, 3, 4, 8 over 5 minus 28 over 15 gives me 1,016 over 15. So it's 1,016 over 15. Leave it exact. Pi. And this is cubed units again. Cubed units, whatever those or units cubed, whatever those units are. So there we go. There's the volume um, of that volume of revolution of two pi, basically around the y-axis like this. So think of it differently to all the other integration. Everything now is in terms of y. You, um, your limits are y limits, and you write the equation as x equals a function of y. So you should now be able to do exercise 5b on pages 77 to 20, uh, 78. And just as a reminder, um, we need to write um, x as a function of y. So this is the opposite to what you're used to. And that x as a function of y, and actually I suppose we could um write x squared dy or we could write here our function of y squared instead 